Hello, my friends. Welcome to another exciting episode of Painting with Vanilla Biscotti. I am your host, Vanilla Biscotti. And today, we're going to be drawing the poll winner from Twitter. Now, once again, every once in a while, I have a happy little poll over on my Twitter. Anyone's allowed to vote on it. And I usually draw the winner when the poll is up. So I'm going to graphically display my Twitter down below in case you'd ever like to vote. Or, you know, just talk to me, hang out with me, get to know me. I'd love to get to know you. And I'm also going to graphically display the, t the poll winner once again. So, it looks like this time we're drawing Slowpoke. So... Let's get started. I'm really excited because the one thing that I love about this show more than drawing and teaching everyone how to draw is when fans tell me that they want me to draw their favorite characters. That right there makes it all worth it for me you know what this time we're gonna draw we're gonna start with the body and we're gonna draw the iconic tail that he has that comes up like this comes to a point and then what we'll do is we'll draw his his legs come out like this. He's a sleepy boy, so he's he sleeps a lot. And we have his head it comes out like this. Okay, and then now that we have the base, what we do is I like to delete the lines that make things connected. Kind of something like this. Because we all know that limbs are connected to the body. Something like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to draw his eyes which be big happy eyes and his mouth he's gonna have an open mouth so I'm gonna extend it down like this that's the good thing about art as you're drawing you get to see how things are turning out and you can always just add or subtract things as you go as you saw when I first started I kinda had an idea and it wasn't gonna work out so then I just changed it to something else draw his ears here You know, to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure how this character looks, but that's okay. We'll we'll make our own version of Slowpoke here. So then, what I want to do now is I'm gonna start coloring the eyes here. I'm just gonna give him some gray eyes. shines here 
So something like this. We'll just give him like that. Make his eyes really. He's a very adventurous, very adventurous little little boy. So we'll just fill this in. Something like that. Looks good. It's perfect. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bring the eyes eye color all the way out like this. Just like that. Just like that. And we'll go back to our white color. Bring this all the way out. Sound like this. Now, what we have to do now is we gotta give him his color. You don't have to be extra fancy with this or anything here because we usually just move it down the next layer when it's done. Something like that this down to here and then we can just clean some of the excess here something like this once again while I'm doing this I'm gonna graphically display my Twitter handle down below feel free to message me feel free to send me a DM Feel free to request a drawing for me. I don't really have a schedule of when I draw things or what I draw on certain days. But if you do make a request, I will get to it and I will draw it. And I'll even, with your permission, tell others that you let me draw for you. We just gotta clean the mouth here because his teeth are the same color as his skin. Okay, I'll go up to this layer here bring this down I'm get that white color color in his ooh color in his teeth here apologize for the outburst earlier it really took me by surprise you know it's a good thing about art in drawing. Sometimes the unexpected happens. Both good and bad. Sometimes you might have a great idea to draw and you sit down and you start drawing and it doesn't look like anything that you imagined. But that's okay because you can always go back and try it again. Or maybe, maybe sometimes things are turning out. The, the, it's the exact way that you envisioned it in your head. And then just that one color, you put one, one last color on something and boy oh boy, it either can get ruined or be made better depending on how you look at things. Okay, friends. Give me one second here. 
I want this drawing to be perfect. Okay. I just had to look up our little friend Slowpoke here. And this this is not a good representation of him, my friends. So what we'll do is we'll we'll have to fix him because we are on season two of painting with vanilla biscotti. Can you believe that? Season two. And I want every drawing to be perfect. Every drawing has to have a level of perfection, which they do, but these shows are just as much for me as they are for you, my friends. So if I ever draw a picture for you, a request picture, and you don't like it, let me know, friends. Let me know. This is a teaching channel, a teaching show. And if you, if you haven't learned how to draw these characters by the time that I'm done drawing them. Boy, I just haven't done my job very well, have I? I have not done my job for you. And I want to try to not ever let you down with my drawings. So now we have a better representation of what he looks like. So now what we'll do is we'll zoom in here to give him smaller, smaller size eyes here. His eyes are kind of like, no, they're more like this. There, there it is. There it is. There's his eyes, friends. He has big nose slash mouthpiece so his nostrils are kind of up here kind of like a, a pig's nose and he has a goofy smile and he has spiky teeth like this there that that looks more like our friend Slowpoke and he also has swirly ears there that looks that that is a better representation of our good friend slowpoke I, I apologize for my lack of knowledge for slow slowpoke Sometimes, sometimes it's hard for me to keep up with some of these creatures. Boy, I tell you though, they're some of the most magnificent creatures I've ever seen. Okay, now, now we got our, he's looking a little better, the color in his his cute eyes here. There. There it is, my friends. There it is, my friends. Go like this. Give him that little 
little sense of wonder right here. There it is, my friends. Now this part, his muzzle is a little different color than his skin. So we'll just make it a little darker here. There it is, my friends. The perfect slowpoke every time. Boy, I just want to thank you so much for coming out with me this, this time. I thank you for tuning in with me every week. And I'm once again going to leave my, my Twitter handle down below, graphically display that. If you ever have something you'd like me to draw, let me know, and I would be happy to draw it. This has been Painting with a Vanilla Biscotti. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again, my friends.